Hello there, ladies and gentlemen. This is Voltrap, and I'm here with Color and Rise, and we're gonna be doing an excellent game here for you today. This is Lomo versus our favorite uh, Bad Man and Terran, Firebot Hero, and this is gonna be a very cool Ooh. matchup because we were just talking <laughs> beforehand about about how um, Firebot Hero is very, very good Terran versus Terran, um, and also very good Terran versus Zerg for that matter. But this is a Terran versus Terran match, and um, looking forward to it. Lomo, of course. Um, kind of, uh, kind of a schmuck at last year, but this year has really caught a lot of people's attention by coming out with some better play and some creative play and some non-schmuck play. Um, so he's been exciting to watch too, so this should be a good matchup in general. And... Zero. And <laughs> anyway, we, I think we forgot... Alright, I guess I'll... Do who is gonna go after me next? So, so <laughs> dude, Color, what that's all good, man. Thank you, uh, dude. By the way, I love this triple commentary here. This is I'm here with Rise, the biggest Firebird Hero fan in the United States of America, probably in the world. I don't know. There might be some yeah, guys in Korea who've like tattooed his name to their chest, though. So I can't say, you know, in, in the world. Anyway, Firebird Hero is in his power puff jacket there. Uh, if you guys haven't noticed, it's it's Korea has gone subarctic uh, in the recent days, and so certain teams are wearing their like gangsta like down coats every time they play. And for some reason, Firebird Hero can like uh, he can deal with that. Um, Firebird Hero at the five o'clock, uh, Lomo at the eleven o'clock. Let me just go over the numbers real quick. Lomo forty-five percent against Terran, not very strong. Firebird Hero is twenty, no forty-two and twenty against Terran for a whopping 63%. He's quite a good Terran versus Terran player, especially this year. So I'm going to put him as the favorite here in this lineup, despite the, the disadvantage he's going to have for, because he's going to be sweating his ass off in about 10 minutes. But <laughs> I still put him as the favorite here. Yeah, I think uh, I think he's, he's probably got some blingy Firebat hero ghetto chain under that jacket too because he's gangster like that <laughs> <laughs> but uh <laughs> i don't know how that's gonna help him but you, but you do know that the players love to stay warm in those rooms so maybe that's why they wear those jackets there it definitely it makes no so sense good. i mean so much for global warming it's well, just look, it, look it can't Lomo be possible right now. That. he's not he doesn't have a coat on or anything he's just got his normal shirt on but he's yeah, got his gum Lomo, though but he looks like a woman so who cares Lomo. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, guys, uh, just so we're not totally noobs, uh, Firebat Hero went uh, gas before barracks there. Uh, I don't know if you guys noticed, but he went like real early. He went supply depot, gas, and only now he's putting his racks, uh, racks down. So he's definitely going for a tech build here. But anyway, continue. Uh, that was about all I had to say. So, <laughs> Moltrap, you're up. Yeah, no, that, that is interesting to note that he put his gas down so early. Um, oftentimes when we see something like that, we'll see... Um, like some kind of a drop build where they get for the quick starport that needs extra gas wraith. or a, re a wraith build exactly or something like that so they'll be interesting Valkyrie. if we see something like that out of Firebat Hero <laughs> yeah Valkyrie oh! uh, are a very good choice for Terran versus Terran and wow um, what an SCV getting was that Firebat Hero's SCV that got taken out there? yeah Firebat Hero lost it yeah Firebat Hero lost an SCV nice good job and it, sorry it just, he's he just <laughs> <laughs> he was just trying to trick him into a false sense of complacency that he's ahead now. But anyway, go, <laughs> go ahead. Oh, that's, right. that's a good call. But um, I was just going to say that um, Lomo does have his um, chewing gum on today. And uh, he, he doesn't do well if he doesn't have his superpower chewing gum fuel uh, pumping him up. And wow, okay, Fire right here putting oh. kind of a forward extra factory. He's going for a two factory build. The second factory is out of his base, so the scouting SCV does not see it, but actually the scouting SCV is running out of Firebat Hero's base now, so it's possible he might see it on the way out. Let's see if... Let's see. Up, oh, up, oh, up, oh, and... Oh, no. He, Lomo does not oh! see the second oh, factory. Oh, man. He does not see it. So Firebat Hero is going to have two factories, and we'll see what Lomo does if he tries to... Ex Lomo is expanding. Oh, so, my God. Firebat Hero in a really Ouch. good spot here. Dude, Firebat Hero. What a brilliant, brilliant 
brilliant opening by him. He gets the extra gas. There's no way Lomo could know it. Uh, he puts down two facts. He actually only mine. He actually doesn't even mine gas when he's putting down those factories. So Lomo thinks he's probably going to go with standard FD build, right? He thinks that you know I'm going to. He's going to go put down a command center afterwards. But instead, he's got that extra hundred gas. Already has a second factory up. So he's going to go straight up vultures here. He's probably going to uh, go upgrade some vulture speed. Maybe, uh, maybe just go mass vultures and just uh, run him over there. And there's going to be not much Lomo can do. He's going to just be at a, at a unit disadvantage, especially if Fiber Hero decides to upgrade. We'll see if he does, or if he could even go three fact here. I think Lomo might. St be starting to get suspicious though if he doesn't find a command center soon and of course he's going to see two vultures that's going to surprise him I think no Lomo knows something is up you're not supposed to have two fa uh, vultures this early yeah Lomo put yeah. down another oh sorry go ahead Rice <laughs> uh, <laughs> no problem we are seeing that there's uh, quite a few SCVs going down already and he does definitely have the uh, advantage in terms of numbers for vultures and he's doing a great job of taking out SCVs that's like five or six at this point and he's just gonna keep taking them out seven eight nine and uh, there's only, now, well now there are two vultures back out for Lomo, so he may actually be able to hold this after all, but he's going to be uh, behind in production of vultures, so he's going to have a tough time keeping up at least for the beginning of this. And Firebat Hero now knows that he's gotten a little bit of an advantage out of this, so he starts putting down a fast expansion of his own, and Lomo can't do anything but try to get into the factory, and look how few SEVs are on that mineral line for Lomo. That gum, it must be gub bubble yum, man. Losing its flavor after about 30 seconds, he's got he's lost all time of that gum, <laughs> and now he's got nothing left. You're so but, right. Uh, <laughs> oh, but a tank out now, so he will be able to deal with the vultures, and we'll have to see where he can go from there. And Fireback Hero are not going to be able to do too much more with those five vultures now that that tank's out. Uh oh, that tank needs to watch out though, because it's in danger. It's those vultures target fire, but it looks like uh, Fireback Hero has decided to target the SCVs instead and try and run up that ramp. Tank blocking the ramp now, but yeah, Loma lost a lot of um, had, uh, lost a lot of way, I guess, um, from putting that that command center, and it isn't even finished, so he's not even able to use it for anything right now. Um, and <laughs> Fireback Hero blocking the, the <laughs> Lomo's entrance a little bit with that barracks just to be annoying and keep the mobility down for um, Lomo's troops trying to run around his tank. Uh, moving back and forth, but critically though, Lomo does have two tanks out now. Firebat here is still with nothing higher uh, tech than um, a vulture at this point. So uh, if Lomo can hold off for the, the next few seconds, still he well actually never mind. Firebat here has his his expansion up already, so he's even gotten his expansion up before Lomo. So. Uh, Fireman here with an advantage in pretty much everything here except for that siege tech. Um, but I don't think Lomo's going to be able to use that to his advantage anytime soon. Yeah, especially just now, as you say, if Fireman Hero gets the mines, that's going to deny Lomo any mobility. Lomo's stuck in his base. There's no way he can retaliate, uh, and he's has, he has a definite, significant SCB disadvantage here. Um, he does have a second base up. He's well protected, but still, Fireman Hero moves into the mid game with a solid, solid edge, and this is why he did well against those Protoss players in the past. Um, when he was uh, before he got completely destroyed by Bisu, uh, he was doing well because he was so aggressive early. Uh, it's got to be frustrating, I think, playing against Firebred Hero as a pro Korean player because not only is Firebred Hero, you know, a decent player, very creative, he kills the panda bear too! Wow! Tasis would be like, uh... He's just, badass. You know, yeah, he's badass. Well, my, my, what I was going to say was, uh... I totally forgot what I was going to say. No, I mean, like, you, you, it's got to be intimidating because Firebird Heroes do, is crazy. He does all sorts of crazy stuff, and then you know you're going to get humiliated if you lose. Like, you know in front of, like, national TV <laughs> that somebody is going to be doing stuff, like putting his crotch in your face, dancing up and down. You're, then the camera's going to show your face, and you're going to be, like, all dopey and sad. And Firebird Hero, meanwhile, is going to be making a fool of you. And, you know, these kids are, like, 18. They, they don't have the, the, some of them don't have the emotional, you know, fortitude to deal with that. Meanwhile, Lomo, oh man, Lomo losing a tank here. Oh. Uh, you know, Savior certainly didn't have the emotional stability to deal with losing the Firebrand hero like eight times in a row. So, I don't know, I'm just saying, Firebrand hero's got a lot going for him with these ceremonies. And anyway, with that, I'll throw it off to the biggest Firebrand hero fan in the world, uh, or in the United States, rather, Rise. <laughs> Yeah, I already got his name tattooed on my forehead, so every time I... It's actually backwards, so when I look in the mirror, it says Firebat Hero, and I, and I can, you know, just start my day off on the right foot. 
<laughs> but fire that hero. It should be it should be mentioned that he's got an early contain on Lomo and with just the mine. Oh, oh, oh now the vultures pushing in and mining up all over the place and those tanks not able to do anything. And Lomo, I don't even know if he has scan yet, but he's just he's contained simply by mines and <laughs> the most basic of contains I'd say. And until he gets some scan up, he's gonna be in a lot of trouble. There are Five and six factories now going up if uh, Firebat Hero still has that one factory outside of his base, which I believe he does. And only uh, a third and fourth going up for Lomo. So Lomo behind in, in a lot of counts here. He's going to be behind in certainly economy after losing as many SCVs as he has. And not to mention the fact that he just does not have the production capability uh, from factories. And Firebat Hero's got the expansion, uh, I mean the uh, containment on him, and he finally gets to take those mines out and push forward a little bit, but he's going to have a tough time moving forward because the mines are even uh, spread out further than that. And Firebat Hero trying to sneak around, but he does not do it. He, he backs off at the last second. And uh, it's got to be said that Firebat Hero certainly is an intelligent player, and he knows when to back off. If only he could figure that out for his PvP game. He's slowly getting there, but once he figures that out, he's going to be <laughs> yeah. a, uh, a serious force to reckon with, man. I think... I think once he gets those games down, uh, he's going to be pretty much unstoppable. Yeah, um, he has been playing really, really well lately, definitely. He, he, his, his TVT and his TVZ are just so good. Um, I definitely agree with you on that one. Uh, by the way, I just did a little cute thing I wanted to point out. Firebat Hero did land his barracks in a spot that would block Lomo's um, commsat station from going up for a little bit. Um, <laughs> That's so annoying. That's awesome. <laughs> Matter. And uh, Lobo was able to get down his expansion uh, comm set, and now he has his main comm set up as well, but um, that, that was just a funny thing that I noticed. Um, I'm surprised that Firebrow Hero didn't expand again when he had that contain set up. Um, he hasn't seemed to really make any other troops either. Uh, he's got a couple tanks now, I think, but um, his army isn't really that big at this point, and he's just got a lot of mines on the map. It almost feels like he squandered that advantage, that contain that he had, because... He didn't do anything while he was contained. He tried to run in once, but um, didn't really accomplish anything with that. Um, I guess he's used it's the time all to try games. and set up. Yeah, I guess he's used the time to try and set up a barrack, a, sort of a firing line in the middle, uh, set up for the late game. But um, I think it would have been better for him to do something a little bit more um, uh, forward. Um, not for it, but a little bit more. Um, I'm not actually sure what I'm talking about. I can't think. Of, it's one of those times when like that word is just on the tip of your tongue. But Lomo actually pressing out here with some tanks and taking out a, a portion of Firebat Hero's troops. So um, you know things could be turning in Lomo's favor if Firebat Hero lets him get away with um, you know uh, moving out of his base and taking more bases, which it looks like he might be doing. Yeah, you're right actually. But um, F FBH putting up an expansion on his right side. Meanwhile, it looks like Lomo was uh, building uh, Command Center's base. Uh, he's going to go to for his own counterpart expansion. A bunch of vultures coming up from Lomo. They're trying to get the surround on Firebat Hero's tanks that were trying to reinforce the main army. Looks like they're going to partially going to get a surround. Couple of day Oh, looks like two tanks oh. go down. So that's going to cause Firebat Hero a good amount. Plus, he has to scan to move forward here, or uh, you, you know, be really careful with his micro. He is going to get forward and, and bring his reinforcements up. Firebat Hero needs to hold that firing line, though, because uh, you know that is his main advantage right now, is that he has a position on Lomo, but Lomo is finding good ways to sneak around. Lomo catching Firebat Hero uh, with uh, more vultures than him on the right side is going to win another engagement, and uh, he's, he's slowly whittling down Firebat Hero's advantage, like you're saying. Uh, once once the both of the expansions, once both of the second expansion scope. We'll see what happens. Looks like Lomo is going to get a harass off here, and once again with the mines, good placement of mines there, going to slow Firebat Hero down as he tries to reinforce. Yeah, I think, uh, I don't think it's it's really all that bad for Firebat Hero quite yet. Lomo has been throwing away quite a few units, and uh, I don't think he took out all that much. He, he definitely is, is coming back with his advantage, but uh, I, I wouldn't say Firebat Hero is quite uh, behind quite yet. Anyway, he does already have his his second expansion up and running. Now we see another battle out in the middle. Uh, Firebat Hero already has tank position though, but mon many more tanks for Lomo, so he may be in trouble after all. Oh, no, he's still got a whole second line there to, uh, for Lomo to try to push up on. But Firebat Hero, I don't know uh, if he, does he have a barracks up there floating over there? I can't see if he's uh, either no. standing or, or just using a barracks. Yeah, so definitely a disadvantage if he has nothing to sight what's going on in front of him. 
Uh, but we do see a starport going down, so we can expect to see uh, some dropships start coming out. And uh, that expansion's up for Lomo at this point as well, and Firebat Hero trying to kind of harass over there, but Tank's uh, very ready to deal with that. And Firebat Hero going to try to throw some mines up on his face, and I don't know if he's going to be able to do it. It looks like he is going to take out a tank, oh. with, uh, that's about it, with the vultures. And now, uh, if he can push up, though, he'd be able to do a, a lot of damage, but I don't think that's going to happen, so... He, he, he's getting uh, Lomo's way on top of it, and he's going to defend this pretty easily. But Firebat Hero does have the mines there, so uh, he's got that helping him out at the very least. And uh, a starport going down for Lomo as well, a little bit later than Firebat Hero. And there we see the uh, science facility, so I guess we're going to see some 2-2 upgrades coming very shortly as well. Or maybe nukes. I hope nukes. I pray nukes, but <laughs> I don't know where I actually see them. Firebat Hero has been known to bust out nukes in TPT play before. Um, I think the starport may have actually been... Goddamn Bangalos! But, um... <laughs> that's going to be why Bangalos be actually got... <laughs> it got in the way of Firebat Hero! <laughs> the Vultures. <laughs> anyway. That's right. That may have been why he killed the, um... Uh, what is it? The Ursodon? Ursodon. Ursodon, Ursodon yeah. Ursodon earlier. <laughs> uh, uh, sorry for calling it by his real name, but, um... Yes, the Ursodon <laughs> might have gotten in the way before, but anyway, what was I going to say? Uh, oh yeah, Fire Right Hero producing a Wraith, though, which was actually which is actually a good move at this point, since it's all been focused on vultures and tanks at this point. Um, it's a really kind of a smart move to try and bust out with some Wraiths, because they're going to be able to run in, and if he can get a few Wraiths up before Lomo spots it and gets out Goliaths, then he sh he'll be able to run in and pick off, th you know, probably easily three or four tanks before Lomo can reinforce and um, and take those wraiths out. So that could, and that's just the kind of thing that can uh, provide you enough of an advantage to run in with your um, tanks and then take out the enemy firing line. It looks like he's going to reveal his wraiths with just two of them, but um, again, they're still going to be annoying for Lomo. <laughs> Lomo producing wraiths now as well. So we could see a shift in the action here from uh, tank vulture to. Um, Tank Wraith, or actually both players now have Goliaths out, so um, uh, it's not going to be that big of a thing in the long run. Yeah, I really like the early Vulture Harass. It reminds me, this map reminds me, uh, well, in the Vulture Harass, it reminds me of Wuthering Heights. It's not really like Wuthering Heights, but it has some similarities in that Vultures are very strong in the early game. Uh, meanwhile, the Fire Hero somehow has gotten three Goliaths now into Lomo's uh, second uh, expansion there at the left side, and he's going to do some damage. He's got a good position here. Lomo has brought his army over to attack Fire Hero's second expansion, so he doesn't have any forces in position. Those three Goliaths are going to probably pick off uh, all the all the SCVs there, and Fire Hero um, going to try to pick up another expansion on the right side. Lomo does have good position, though. On top of that hill, Fire Hero forced to siege underneath. Uh, he's got vision with the Vultures, but I think Fire Hero might have just enough tanks. Yes, he is going to have enough tanks. Oh. Whoa! Big explosion. Kills everything, but that was worth it for Fire Hero. He lost a couple of Vultures, but but that ends Lomo's attack. Meanwhile, this command center could even go down. Lomo, being a little bit distracted, uh, those three Goliaths are certainly killing off way more than they're supposed to there. And Fiber Hero now advancing up the right side. This is looking bad for Lomo here. Boom! Yeah, a lot of tanks <laughs> being lost, though, too, for Firebat Hero. A yeah, bit, that was a mistake. I think I think he'll get through that one okay. I mean, he's got a lot of tanks out on the field, and if you look at the map, he's got about uh, three quarters of the map under his control, and Lomo is down to two bases mining, and he is almost mined out at his main for that matter. So Firebat Hero definitely can, in, back in control of this game and looking to take it. Uh, he's starting to make Lomo look like a woman again. And Lomo's got nothing to say about it at this point. Lomo's but, uh, pretty good at doing that uh, himself, by the way, for those of you guys who don't realize the references. He was the uh, the second dancer in that Lake Calf dancing video with uh, with that Protoss player on Lake Calf, who I won't name because he's just, he's disgusting. <laughs> but yeah, yeah, Lomo's the other female dancer in a wig. Anyway, go ahead, Ryze. <laughs> Yeah, well, it uh, should be mentioned that Lomo lost his burning command center that was floating over the water a few seconds ago. Oh, and nukes oh, are oh, going to come oh, out! I knew it! Oh, my God! Oh, I love you. I love you, Firebat Hero. You know, if I had a... Well, I won't go there, but... <laughs> he would have my children if I was the opposite sex, for sure. And, oh, GG oh, coming from Lomo no, before no. he can get thoroughly humiliated. Oh, he knew it was coming. He, 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 he was listening to Mole Track. Moltrop cast saying that if he stays around too long, he's just going to get humiliated by Firebat Hero. And that is exactly what happened. Here's Firebat Hero saying to his teammates, God, it feels good to be a gangster. Giving some high fives there. <laughs> well earned. Oh, dear. Woo! 
That was uh, appropriate. A pirouette. Pirouette. Pirouette from yes. Power Hero. Nothing, nothing completely embarrassing. But that is, um, for those of you that uh, haven't watched the rest of the series thus far, that is going to bring the set to two wins for each team, and that is going to bring it to an ace match, which I believe we'll be casting that next. So uh, tune in for that, and thanks everyone for listening. GG. GG. Stay tuned.